Hey, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you guys are having a great day, morning, wherever you guys are in the world. Um, I wanted to come online and just share with you a quick dream that I had um, that talks about the straight and narrow path. You know, it says, and I want to read the scripture real quick, Matthew tw uh, chapter 7. Uh, praise the Lord, I opened right to it, basically. Um, you know, we need to understand how we must live an obedient life. You know, many are led astray. Many believe in false fables. You know, as it is written, there have itching ears for them to go to different people to understand. We need to try the spirits, though, and read the word of God. Not what man says, but what the word of God says. Or, you know, I, um, so, as it says in Matthew chapter 7, you know, and I'll tell you the dream after this that I had, um, and it's definitely severe, and it just shows how destructive just going on your own way is. Um, but it says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 through 15. Okay, so actually let's go to 16 as well. Enter ye in at that straight gate, for wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves, ravening wolves. Many have this just demeanor of being so kind, being so, but their hearts are war, the ravening wolves. People are going to them because that's that one, that's what they want them to hear. So, okay, and you shall know them by their fruits, whether it be a, a good fruit of righteousness or of the bad fruit. Okay. So understand, we must live an obedient life. And in this dream that I had, in this dream that I had, you know, this woman, you know, was, in, uh, it was like a bakery, you know. So in this bakery, this uh, there's maybe three other workers, two other workers, but the owner was just working them so hard, was working them hard and hard and making them cakes day in, day night, making them make cakes here and there. They're big cakes, you know, with another cake on top, with another cake over here, you know, just definitely tiring. And she was definitely being a good, you know, sport about it, being like, yeah, you know, I'll do this, I'll do that. You know, being very kind and just take doing what she needs to do. And then all of a sudden, you know, she's in this trailer, you know, like how a 16 wheeler, you know, a truck, you know, one of those big trucks, 16 wheelers, she's pretty big in the truck she was driving. You know, she's talking to herself. She's talking to herself in the truck, you know, a dog just with a dog as well. And there's a woman in the back, uh, I believe her was her coworker was asleep and I was in the passenger seat. Uh, I believe I was just viewing her and just telling her what she needs to do. Um, here and there, but, um, amen, so I'm just talking to a brother right now, but, um, you know, she starts talking to herself, she's like, you know, you know, she fell asleep in the back, you know, I'm up here driving by, you know, just trying to keep herself awake, you know, and eating cake while doing it, you know, just eating cake while she's driving, and doing, you know, driving in a straight, narrow highway. You know, you know, in that highway, there's cars on the left side. There's cars on the other left side. We were on the other way on the right side, but she was going really fast, you know, and narrow, and it was narrower than just a regular path that you see on the highway that you, you don't see that narrow, how narrow it was, you understand. Um, but she was driving very fast. And I was like, hey, you know, you might want to slow down. You might want to slow down just a little bit, just slow down just a little bit. And she wasn't, you know, she again, she just said, you know, uh, talking to herself, you know, just 
um, trying to keep her awake, you know, I said, hey, you need to slow down, just to slow down just a little bit, just, you should slow down just a little bit, you know, just slow down a little bit, and I told her to turn on her lights, turn on her lights, because her front lights were off, so I said, you need, she turned on her front lights, and she turned on her front lights, and I said, you need, to, you should slow down just a little bit, she goes off this off ramp, said, I, I'll go this way, I'll go this way, it's, you know, just much, uh, it's not many people are on it, you know, so she goes off this off ramp. On the brothers and sisters, she goes off this off ramp. She turns, she goes, oh, I can't do this no more, I can't do this no more. Just keep in mind, this like a bridge. You know, she's under a bridge. We're driving under a bridge. She goes, "Oh, maybe if I turn here, we'll be okay." Not knowing, or knowing that the end of her trailer is going to hit something. But she was worrying, you know. She, again, she's worrying that uh, for safety for her and. Of the people that were in the car and in the truck with her, brothers and sisters. This the back of the trailer hit all the pillars of the bridge and made them to collapse. Just destruction everywhere, Just so much destruction, so much destruction. Like, if I, that's just, I'm just trying to let you know how much destruction there is. Like, there was a lot, brothers and sisters, there was a lot. And she, you know, I feel like she was okay, so I get out of the car. I get out of the truck. Keep in mind, I feel like I'm on a high end of it, you know, like, uh, from the top of the bridge. And I, you know, I look down, and I see so much destruction. You know, police officers trying to pull things out. So therefore, I jump from basically where I was, and no human could do that. Like if they did that, your bones, a lot of your bones would be broken. You know, a lot of your bones would be broken. So I get down there and just literally jump down there, and all of a sudden this huge ear ringing feeling was just overtaking my left side and everybody heard it it was a lot of them made them die from it and one of which which um, I'm gonna really name his name nameless um, for now um, but I've talked to him about it. it was just passed out just died you know I had a lot of blood coming out um, just passed out and died it was like and just fell. From there, you know, I, I, I came out of the earring and, and, and I was trying to talk and then I could hear myself. I said, hey, hey guys, you know, basically, you know, you need to, we need, I want to help. I'm trying to help those people get out of wherever situation they may have been in, trying to pull them out of the cars. And all of a sudden, the devil is a liar. Devil is a liar. This thing crawls up behind me, or crawls up next to me, with a sharp piece of glass that was, there's glass everywhere, it stabs me in my left leg, and that's when I woke up, because the devil did not want me to know more about that dream. And I woke up, I went to the bathroom, told my brothers and sisters, and you know, how, just how much destruction just going off your own path could be. I felt really led to share this so people could understand and that not to be deceived, but to read the word of God. Brothers and sisters, please take heed to those things that you hear. Please take heed. This is not a time. Time is so short. Time is so short. Time is so short. You are not right with God. 
if you are backslidden, you trust in the flesh, I really recommend, you know, again, we're not perfect, but you got to be willing to reprove. You must be willing to understand that what you're doing is not good. You need to turn from it. You need to turn from it. Many have had a deliverance and go right back into doing what they're doing. Then go into another deliverance minister. Then go into another deliverance minister. Then go into another deliverance minister. Not knowing that you yourself are the one that's holding yourself back. You need to understand. You need to be willing to give it up. A deliverance minister is going to get the demons out of you. But you need to be the one that's willing to stop what you're doing. You're letting yourself fall into it. Not you know, it's being tempted is not a sin. But falling, surrendering to it is. Stay on that narrow path. Stay on the way of the Lord and let the Lord direct your paths. Let him lead your way. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Until the next video that I make, please again. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Blessings to you. And until the next video.